about to take this Gen 1 one up arcade machine and add way more games to it instead of just the three Mortal Kombat games. I'm going to do this pretty easily. This is the easiest, quickest way to do it. You still have to order some stuff from Amazon. Over here, I ordered the Switch Fighting Stick, which is going to go in place of this one here. And then I also ordered myself the arcade box. So pretty much I'm gonna put this thing up, plug this thing in, plug it into the TV on here, the monitor, and then boom, that's it. Here we go. First thing we're gonna do, just gotta pull this back panel off. Remove the three screws, let's pull it off. Switch fighting stick came with a new one of these that's gonna allow for HDMI. So it looks almost the same as this one too. I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew this. I unscrewed it from the back. I gotta pop out all of these cables here. Okay, so I got the new PCB board hooked up. A um, couple things that I want to note. You got to make sure you put this little ribbon cable in exactly right. Um, there's instructions in the booklet that the switch fighting deck came with. So it, it tells you everything. Um, there's also a little switch when I turned on the monitor. Uh, the game, the picture was kind of off. Like you would see the screen and then you would see the screen again. There's a little switch in here. You can toggle it. Um, I had to go through. I went down one setting. Still messed up. Went down again. And then it was corrected. So the screen is now perfect. Um, and it looks good. Now, this is just HDMI. This is just power. And then let me go down here so you can see kind of what I got going on. So I got them both plugged in here. Oh, also, the uh, control deck has a micro to regular USB, uh, two cords that run from it, so it plugs right in. Um, these are for player one, player two, and the two cords, I, I bought these, run down into the the uh, arcade box that I bought, and I mounted it right here, and I mounted it so, the, so it had airflow sticking out this way, the bottom. Um, and then I plug in the two micro to USB cords into these two little, uh, I can't remember what you call these things. They're, uh, I think they're called like magic control sticks or something like that. I'll have to link it down in the bottom. But you also need to get these so that the arcade box will work with the Nintendo Switch fighting stick. I think these were about 20 bucks on Amazon. So you need two of these. You got your two cords, micro to USB. You got your arcade box. Uh, the HDMI goes up into the TV. The board that we installed here also came with the fighting stick. And then, um, yeah, and I installed this and plug them both in. And then I just made the little hole a little bit bigger down here. Right out there, power it up, and you're good. So let's take a look at it. All right, let's power it up. Okay, so I already set my controllers, but um, when you very first turn it on, it's going to ask you to set all your buttons and everything for GamePad 1, GamePad 2. I already did that. Um, you can always change your settings just by hitting, I have select for my um, options menu, I believe, or is it, no, sorry, start, hit start, and you can configure your uh, controller settings right here. Um, one other thing to note when you go to play a game, uh, 
turn the sound off. When you click on a system, you're gonna wanna do your options. So for me, it's select. And you're gonna wanna go to advanced system options. Click it. Takes a second, don't double click. And you're gonna wanna make sure that you set your games to 16 by nine see that and then you're going to want to make sure on bezel click no and then that's it that way your games will be full screen and look nice so now we'll just click on oh, donkey Kong. magic controller is recognized let's turn the sound on start there you go got all your games Boom. Canada Nintendo 64 let's click it let's play a classic um, Super Mario 64. It's me, Mario! Oh, we're in. Hello! Oh, you got me! Turn the sound down a little bit. And here we go. Super Mario 64. Well, it's kind of hard to play and... Them at the same time, but you get the point. Any game you can think of. Hit me up if you can think of an old game. Um, can't be on any of the newer systems like the PlayStation 3, the Xbox 360, nothing like that. But anything below that, it can pretty much play.